We're going to talk about three position group um, camp battles. And one of them is the running back spot. Now, obviously, Clyde Edwards Alaire, number one guy, the high draft pick, he's going to get the lion's share of the carries. But behind him, you've got Daryl Williams, you've got Darwin Thompson, you've got Jarek McKinnon. And I'm not going to spoil anything because I'm going to pass it to you first, but I don't necessarily know if that's going to be the order by the end of the season or even heading into the regular season fresh out of camp. Yeah, I think going into it, like you said, you kind of anticipate CEH being the man, uh, being the almost every down back. I mean, you're going to bring Daryl in for some maybe short yarded situations. Um, He kind of looked like that guy last year who could get you that tough yard if you need it. So I think Williams will be the next guy off the bench. And then you've got the battle for that third spot. Like you said, McKinnon and Thompson. And I, after they drafted Thompson, I know you're a Thompson guy as well. I really liked, uh, I mean, for a fifth round pick or sixth round picks, uh, I can't remember. Jordan, you probably can help me out there. Was I think he was sixth out of Utah state. I think so. Yeah. So for a six round guy, you're like, all right, if this guy can give us something, that's, that's going to be positive. He's like a rock. Like he's like built, like, so he looks like a wrestler, I guess you'd say like one of those guys that can just (laughs) hulk out and like go crazy. Um, Workout warrior uh, is the cliche, I guess you could use. Uh, But yeah, Jared McKinnon has some like untouched uh, untapped potential that like, I think he was went to the Niners and just got hurt too much. So he was a guy that thought we thought could be like a lead back for the Niners and their running back crew there is, has just been incredible the last couple of years. So if McKinnon can come in and stay healthy and show what he can do, I think he'll probably be the one that wins that third spot. Unfortunately, um, Thompson just, I don't know. He like shows a little bit and then it's just like, all right, what's he doing here? So it's, you know, nothing against Thompson. I like Thompson, but uh, if McKinnon's healthy, I think that he'll probably be the one to grab that third spot. How about, what do you think, Jordan? I agree with you. And we both like Darwin Thompson. There's nothing wrong with Darwin Thompson. Um, He's just buried in the depth chart. Like he was last season. He was in the doghouse after some early season fumbles last year. Um, 97 rushing yards, 65 receiving yards, couple touchdowns. He had that really big week 17, which was a great, you know, feel good story for him to finally showcase that he can handle that workload. Um, he's never going to be that guy though in the NFL. He's never going to be the featured back, um, at least with the Chiefs. That goes didn't log any postseason stats. He's a small back facing an uphill battle. Um, doesn't have the Clyde skill set where he can be that small guy and still kind of break through. Living off that that preseason kind of reputation where he had the really good preseason. That's what got me on board. I was like, okay, this dude can kind of make some, some noise um, and then didn't do it. So Jarek McKinnon, I like him a lot. Like I'm a big Jarek McKinnon fan. Now he signed his contract was like four years, 30 million in San Fran. Cause he was in Minnesota for like five years, did really well. Um, missed all of 2018 and 19 with the knee injuries He had 319 rushing yards, 253 receiving yards, six touchdowns last year with the Niners. Proven ability to pass block, um, catch balls out of the backfield, offers higher upside than Thompson. And hear me out, I think Jarek McKinnon might be the second best running back on the Chiefs. Like not in terms of he's going to get the number two role, but I think his ceiling might be just a little bit higher than Darrell Williams because he has that versatility as a receiving back. So with that said... Um, How big of a role will he have? Is he going to break camp with the team? Like neither one of those are certainties, but um, I'm a really big fan of Jarek McKinnon's talent. I don't think he gets talked about quite enough. Yeah, I totally agree with you Uh, as far as talent goes and what he can do on the field. I think he will be the second best running back if he breaks camp and makes it with the team, just from everything that you just said. And uh, really quick, I'm going to rewind in history for Darwin Thompson, just because this is what just makes me so sad about Darwin Thompson. Andy Reid drew him up a play in in the 2020 Super Bowl, the one that the Chiefs won, and he could have been the the guy that scored the first touchdown in the Super Bowl, and he just got stuffed at the goal line, and then Mahomes scored on the option play on the next play. But Andy Reid wanted to give him that chance, and he just couldn't capitalize, and it just – Oh, it eats me up a little bit for him because you're like, he had the chance. He could have got the touchdown. He could have been celebrating right there. First touchdown in the Super Bowl. And it just didn't happen. 
and then it, it just has kind of been a little bit downhill outside of preseason since then. So, yeah, I feel a little bit bad for Darwin. Uh, like what he brings occasionally, but yeah, McKinnon seems like the guy that should should run away with it. Yeah, and that's not a slight on Daryl Williams. Like, listen, he was the two minute drill running back primarily. He was the third down back. He was the goal line back. He did a lot of good stuff, and he had some decent stats. He had decent production um, when he was on the field. 225 ish pounds, I believe, like a guy that kind of he played the role that he fit last season. Um, I think that Clyde's going to progress as a pass protector. So it's not going to be like they would pull Clyde on two minute drills, late down situations because he couldn't protect Mahomes. And with the offensive line being banged up, you need that sixth kind of blocker in to protect. So if Clyde can make a jump there, which I think he will. Um, and he's obviously the best receiving back on the team, regardless of what stats he puts up or did put up. Um, he's the most talented there. The offensive line's going to get some more push, ideally on third downs and on goal line situations. Now, still, that might take away a couple snaps from Clyde. Like, Darrell Williams kind of specializes in stuff like that. Um, so he's a guy that will definitely carve out a role. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was the n- clear number two back all season. Um, but I think McKinnon's ability to – do some similar stuff to Clyde makes him a really interesting piece. 